Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Trust the Cones on Game Press. Um, once again, me and Bill are in different locations, so I'm doing this one on my own. Um, we should be back together pretty soon. This is an Articuno duo, and this is basically a guide about how you can duo Articuno. So this took place um, in July at GoFest. Um, as you guys know, when we had Articuno Day, there was the 182nd clock. But during GoFest, um, while the rest of the world was getting Lugia, we got a handful of Articuno in downtown Chicago. So me and Cuddle decided to duo this. Um, this is early days of the lobby skip. I guess it's probably the second day I ever tried it, so it was still pretty new. Um, so in this case, we didn't have, um, like, I guess now I would show the video with my lineup there so you could see what it was before switching over. But um, I had four Max T-Tars and Smack Tars specifically, and Cuddle had, he had six that were level 35 plus. I don't remember exactly what they were. So basically the idea was I was going to be the one to leave and then re-lobby. Um, when you're dealing with a 300 second clock against uh, tier 5 um, hit points, you, you really need that re-entry to make it work for the most part. It is possible to avoid it with dodging, but I think more often than not you're going to have to re-lobby. Um, it's worth noting that right now we are um, good friends, and in real life, you know, as of today, we're ultra friends. So this is going to be a lot easier for everyone going into it. So basically, when you're doing Articuno right now, the best way to do it is look for um, weather. You want partly cloudy. When you have partly cloudy, um, Articuno could be doing with smack tars um, in the high 20s, maybe low 30s. I think if you're level 30, you're pretty safe, um, even with not so great IVs. Um, you're going to need, you want six, you're going to probably have to relobby. So um, either reviving or possibly having a second team is going to really help. In general, this is a pretty easy duo once you have the Smack Tars. Um, the downside is if you don't have Smack Tars, it gets a lot more difficult. Um, you can use a Golem or a um, Legacy Amistar as like a filler kind of thing. But the reality is this is going to need to be done with Tar. So it is actually possible to duo this in neutral weather with level 40 Smack Tar. Um, it's very difficult. As Ultra Friends, it's going to be easier with Best Friends. But as Ultra Friends, you're looking at, it's going to be like a roughly 20% win percentage against the two more difficult movesets, actually. So if you're getting um, against Icy Wind, it's actually going to be very difficult because Icy Wind is not doing enough damage to you that it's not charging you fast enough for you to be able to, to do it. So I think it's like a 1% or 2% chance with Icy Wind, whereas it's around a 20% chance against Ice Beam and Blizzard. Um, I'm going to try it against Ice Beam. What's... Um, Ice Beam is pretty easy to dodge, and it's the kind of thing where you can, you know, see whether you want to dodge the Ice Beam or tank it to fill your charge, you know, and kind of go. I think the Sims aren't really accounting for that, so that makes the chance a little bit higher. Um, the Sims also are not looking at um, those lobby tricks, so there's probably another three seconds that you have there, which pumps it up another few percent. And then I think the people who are going to do this as Ultra Friends um, I don't have this luxury, but a lot of people may have 7, 8, 9, 10 Smack Tars. So if you have the ability to use a second team of level 40 Smack Tar, as opposed to re-lobbying and reviving, that's going to make it so much faster. Um, I I've run some sims where you kind of dodge everything, and that doesn't work. It's too much dodging, and you, you run out of time. You can't do the DPS. So I think the sweet spot is going to be somewhere between tanking everything and dodging everything. And then obviously you're going to have to get lucky with RNG as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out in real life. Um, at this point, I'm not sure whether we're going to have the 180 second clock or the 300 second clock for the week of the birds. Um, this assumes we'll have the 300 second clock. But if we have the 180 second clock, then obviously everything's pretty much the same as it is. Same breakpoint, same things like that. You just probably won't need to re-lobby. It'd be much easier to beat with a team of six. Articuno... It's not that good, so frankly, like I wouldn't recommend targeting Articuno this week. I think you're better off um, looking for Moltres more so than anything else. It's the candy that's most valuable during Legendary Return Week that we have with the birds coming back. But that said, um, it is a really fun duo. Um, I was very happy to get to do it. When we had Articuno Day locally, it was not partly cloudy, so I never got a shot at it. So when we had partly cloudy in Chicago, me and Cuddle jumped up and down at the opportunity to make it happen. So it was definitely pretty cool to do, pretty cool to be a part of. All right, I'm going to let the video play out here. I don't really have any other commentary to add. But uh, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. And uh, remember to always trust the cones.